Glory to God. Hallelujah. We greet the beloved church and everyone who visit us at the peace of the Lord. I invite the church to stand up in reverence to the reading of the word. Let's open the Bible. In Job Job 42 Job 42 Job 42 verse 22 Verse 1 and 2 It's before Psalms My Bible it's Page 800, it's going to be here in the projection. 42, Job 42, bye -bye. verse 1 and 2. The ones that don't have the Bible can follow up here. Job 42, 1 and 2. It says the following. Then Job... And then, then Job answered to the Lord and said, I know that you can do everything and that no purpose of yours can be withheld from you. Lord, apply a word to our hearts tonight. Speaking, Lord, to each one of our hearts because we pray to you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. The church may be seated. The word tonight, it speaks to us about the story of a man called Job. We know that the Bible is a book, a prophetic book. Those are letters, there are lives, stories there were lived that reflect to these days. And the Holy Spirit continues to speak with His church through the Word. Because the Word is a living and efficient. The prophet Isaiah said that the Bible, the word of the Lord, will never come back empty. But it, do, it does what it pleases the Lord. So just by the fact, the fact that we entered here and read a text from the Bible, the word has already operated in our hearts. Because the word of the Lord is power. Because the word of the Lord never comes back empty. So when we come here and we read the word, it's because the Lord is going to operate. And the Lord has already shown that He is already operating tonight. The Lord has sent many of His angels that are here with us. You may not see them, but you can feel their presence, right? And some even can see the angels of the Lord. And He, the angels, are already beginning to operate. In the mind, in the mind of a sister, removing everything that you think, uh, your own reasoning, the Lord is placing in your mind thoughts that come from the Lord, right? And you will notice that from that point forward, your thoughts are not going to be thoughts of um, anguish 
doubtful thoughts because wherever the Lord operates, the, the doubt goes away. Your uncertainty goes away because God is a God of truth. And Jesus said that the truth and that you know the truth and the truth shall set you free. And there are many that are imprisoned in, in their own thoughts, in their human reasoning, in what they think. But the Lord wants to deliver you tonight. In the same way that Job had his own experience. He was a man, a good man, a man that uh, paid great attention to his own family. The Bible says that Job was paid great attention to his family. He sacrificed to the Lord on behalf of his children. Uh, was a man that feared the Lord. He was a prosperous man. At that time, but he ended up going through a trial. And uh, at a certain point, he began to lose his children, his uh, material goods, his livestock, his reputation as well. But the only thing that Job didn't lose was his faith. Because this, this faith that God has sown in, uh, into our hearts, only one has the right to lose. Only we can lose our own faith. It's you and it's me. But Job, he remained unshakable. Job remained inside, a pro inside of a project that God had for his life. And he didn't even complain. He didn't doubt. But he, in his humbleness, he understood that all of it was part of a project of God for his life. Man, many times, is deceived, deceives himself. Man thinks that when he looks around himself, he sees other people prospering, sees people successful and sometimes that person even thinks uh, God is with that person it's a person there is even a saying that even says that whatever this has a gold finger whatever the pers person touches becomes gold it has a Midas touch but my brethren our God it's a God that tries his children, puts his children through trial, because through a trial, he will see if our hearts, if our faith was firm, it was based on him. And that's what happened with Job. He went through trials, infirmity. His own wife at one point of uncertainty in a scenery of doubt she even questioned the existence of God and even asked Job to abandon this God but my brethren it is how he says I know that can do all things And none of your thoughts can be withheld from you. 
My brethren, the project of God for your life will not be stopped. The thought that God has for your life will not be stopped. From the moment in which you accept this project, I am reminded of the brethren from the past that were thrown on the arenas, they were thrown to the beasts, they were thrown to the fires, fire pits, but they never lost their faith, much on the contrary. The more they were persecuted, the more they were thrown there to the beasts, greater was their faith, stronger was their faith in the Lord. And there are accounts that, that tell that some even died praising the name of the Lord, singing songs to, name, to praises, uh, praises to the Lord. And this legacy came all the way to us. And my brethren, my beloved, tonight the Lord wants this from us. This is a moment in which we are living in, in this, this picture of uncertainty that the world is living in, this, this environment of doubts regarding the future. But the Lord wants that we might be placing our faith in practice. Uh, we put our faith in practice. We, we should be obedient to him. Not like a child that at the first um, um, correction from the father, he says, oh, I'm going to get up my luggage. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave my home. I think that outside things are going to be better. Like the prodigious son did. He was, was not able to... Um, withstand the routine sometimes this life of Christians life of in the church I'm tired of it it became a routine in my life that's where the danger is don't allow it to be a routine because the things of the Lord they renew themselves every day the things of the Lord cannot become routine in our lives do not allow this to happen Plea for the blood of Jesus. Reproach this thought in your mind, because this thought does not come from the Lord. And Job says the following, I know that you can do everything, and that no and no purpose of your words can be withheld. Those are not my thoughts, they are the thoughts of the Lord, because the thoughts of the Lord, they are eternal. The thoughts of the Lord, they are not going to lead into death, but they lead to life. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The Lord also shown, has shown a woman here that is feeling frustrated because her desires, her thoughts have been frustrated in her life in our life but if you want to have a life of victories if you want to have a life of of great certainty that your thoughts are going to be realized pray to the Lord and, and ask the Lord may my thoughts be your thoughts right because if you do like that you will experience victory in your life. We are not going to be a person, a frustrated person, disappointed, because the Lord has not called us to be like that. The Lord has called us to be victorious in His presence. Even though in moments you might think 
Now my life is over. I lost everything. I lost my family. I lost my material goods, my friends. What people are judging me. Job friends, they were judging him. There's no way, there's no reason for me to to leave. Job had no reason for him to for, for him to remain alive. But the reason for Job to remain alive was his faith. Blessed be the name of the Lord. My brethren, we're going to uh, overcome our difficulties through faith. That's the song that we just sang. And by faith, I will continue walking. And who is our faith? Is Jesus. Because Jesus is the author and finisher of our faith. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I know that Jesus is alive in our lives so that this life may remain in our hearts. May God bless us. Let us praise the name of the Lord. Let the Lord speak to our heart. Whatever is your petition, the Lord will operate in your life. called you to have a life of victories. Yeah. 
Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to Jesus. So, Job answered to the Lord and said, I know that you can do everything and that no purpose of yours can be withheld from you. What are you answering to the Lord tonight? Job answered this way. And tonight, the Lord wants you to answer this way. Trust in the Lord. I know that none of your promises are going to be unfulfilled, but they will be fulfilled in my life. The Lord wants that you have a, a thought, a thought and connection with the Lord. If you do it that way, you will experience blessing in your life not only on this earthly life Peter told the Lord and now we left everything we left everything, everything to serve you and now and the Lord Jesus told him told them you will have everything here in this life and 100 times more on eternity my brethren, our lives are lives of victory. You may even go through a moment of trial, tribulation, but don't give up on your faith. Don't give up on seeking this wonderful God because you will not be frustrated. I invite the church to stand up. Oh, bring the service to a close. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Because the project of the Lord is perfect. Hallelujah. We praise the Lord. We give honors because one day you called us to be in this project, Lord. This project of salvation. We praise the Lord because even for the trials because of the tribulations but much more we praise the Lord because of the victories because of the conviction that we have our name written in the book of life we praise the Lord we give you honors because one day we will leave this evil world and we will be together with you in eternity blessed be your name Lord Remain with us. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Amen. Church may be seated. We want to greet everyone with the peace of the Lord. The service is coming to a stand. If for any reason we desire a prayer, we will be here at your disposal so that the blessing of the Lord may be fulfilled in your life. We want to inform the church that the whole church is invited to participate on a moment of fellowship that we're going to have uh, outside the celebration continues we are going to have a moment of fellowship I think it's because of the I am not sure I don't know if I went ahead of the carriage but everyone is invited everyone without exception amen 